welcome to the show, everyone. Thank you all so much for coming on the show. Woo! Thank you, thank you all. You're looking beautiful. Thank you so much. Hello, viewers. Thank you for tuning into the Jury Request Show. I'm your host, Chris Arnold. It's one of Ireland's most creative talk shows, as always. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, today, we got so much coming your way, but before we do so, I just want to quickly drop on some quick highlights on what is going on in terms of Michael Jackson and also R. Kelly. First of all, Michael Jackson issue, please drop that. This man is not alive to defend himself, so let's get past it. The idea of this documentary, for me personally, I've sat down to watch a piece of it. It doesn't make sense for me. I don't care what you want to sell, true. But if you were here to watch it 1870 years ago, you would, you would imagine it's touchy. So it's not yet to defend himself. So I don't see any reason why the media is kind of bringing it up. So if you're looking for something, my friend, please find a better way. Your kids are growing up, you're dragging them into this, and you're coming out to say this is the story about it. I'm not buying into it, so better of what to say. That's my own opinion. If you don't like it, well, leave it. Everyone has an opinion, but that's my own view. Coming up also as well, R. Kelly. Hmm, bro, what's up with you? Well, for R. Kelly, I don't really know. Most women, you're complaining about what this guy is doing, but I don't see the reason why you're with him. You know this guy like women. You know this guy, of course, we all like women. We understand that. By the end of the day, you know his past. You're still in a relationship. You know his past. You're still having kids for him. You're still in the past. And you're still in a relationship for another five to six, ten years. What are you doing there? So please, women, if you're in a relationship that's abusive, just get out of it. Simple as that. If you feel you cannot find yourself there, get out of it. There's no point of everyone dragging themselves into this. Now, look at your story. I just wish everyone the best of luck. It's my own opinion about it. Look, I'm running out of time because I cannot really stay on it. Well, coming up on the show today, we got some wonderful guests joining us. Speaking about this guest, they are the current award winner of the Women's Awards. They're going to be joining us today. We're going to be talking a lot of stuff. And also my very good friend, Bessalie Otto, number one right now on the Irish Times, another person down, Donna Kennedy. She's going to be joining us on the show. So stay tuned for more of this. As you a pleasure, baby, I'll be right back. Thank you. It's one of Ireland's most creative talk show, but today we have some special people joining us on the show. These are the Irish Women's Award winner. Hello, guys. How are you all doing? Welcome to the show. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Hi, how, how are you, Barbara? I'm very well, Chris. Great to see you. Thank you for coming in and also to feel in us here. Honey. Thank you also for coming in on the show. Guys, congratulations. You guys won the Irish Women Award. Great stuff. Yesterday, you guys were at the uh, International Women's Day. How was that? Chris, it was a really beautiful day. International Women's Day is something that I um, would always su support. And Fiona from Anu had invited me to their event at Swords Castle. Yes, very good. Amazing. Come on, show us hello, everybody. That's wonderful. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> guys, OK, yesterday was yesterday. It was great. It's good to share what the women do, because you guys are wonderful people. First of all, let's get to meet you guys. Barbara, I know you personally. So let's get to meet. Let the viewers and the audience know what you do for a living. So talk, talk to us about yourself. Is I'm a HR employment consultant in groups of hospitality and hotels. Yes. Um, I now do it um, as um, a stay-at-home parent with my two young children. Wonderful. Come on, show us a lot. Wonderful. <laughs> and let me feel it. Tell us about yourself. My name is Fiona Barry, and yes. I'm working for a new support services since last May. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working in homeless services for the last 26 years. So wow. working specifically with pregnant women who are homeless is something that that's very new to me okay. uh, and I suppose I've been really struck over the past year about the different issues that face women who are pregnant wow. and are homeless it's very different to, wow. to some of the other wow we'll come we'll work. really come into that come on show us a lot that's amazing job. Wow. And hi I'm Lynn Chen I work with Fiona at a new I'm the housing officer there and I would work really closely with maternity hospitals to support the housing needs of pregnant women who are in need of um, stable accommodation. Wow, amazing. Come on. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. This is what we love to see. People like you doing a wonderful job, you know, great works. You have families, but still take that time out to do these things. It's so, so good. And this is what I like about the show. We find people like you, bring you about to utilize and reach out and create that awareness. I know we have some wonderful displays and beautiful, you know, 
uh, artwork, but we're going to talk about it. So uh, let me bring you in, Fiona. You work so hard with women, pregnant women. Give us more insight about that. What really inspires you to, to actually do that? I suppose what happened was I had been working at a very senior level in some of the larger organizations, working with homeless people in the city centre. Mm. And my own children were at an age where I just needed to take a step back for a couple of years. And I was just so fortunate that this job with the new support services came up at the right time. Yeah. Ten minutes away from my house. Wow. <laughs> and, 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 you know, initially you sort of go, wow, well, that's karma and I'll take that job. Yes. But within, I would say, three or four weeks, all of a sudden, started really drilling down into issues that I hadn't been aware of in mm. the larger homeless services mm. around a really hard to reach group of women who are incredibly marginalized, that Ireland is still a country where women become homeless because of their pregnancy. Wow. And I was really shocked to find that out. Wow. In, in coming into the new role. Yes, with all the housing crisis issue, let me bring Lynch in as well. You know, how do you manage women, uh, pregnancy, you know, getting that from accommodation, especially if they are maybe, uh, maybe a few weeks to when they're gonna give birth. How, how do you go through that pressure to kind of find a charter for them? Well, just keeping their goals, their life path, and um, their supports in mind. Okay. So um, it's pointless to, you know, um, to identify somewhere that's a possible accommodation for this um, yes. woman if it's miles away from their family, their friends, um, their employment. So we work really intensively with um, just acknowledging what's going to work for them. Wow. Um, we work really closely with um, different housing organizations, the local authority, um, different real estate agents mm. to, to be able to support the housing needs for our wow. clients. Wow, come on, wonderful, come on, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Great, let me just bring Barbara, my very good friend. And Barbara, I, <laughs> where can I start? How are the boys doing anyway? They're really, really well. We're getting ready for our next race meeting. Oh, wow. I was going to yeah. just even mention that. Are you going to bring them on that? Absolutely. You know? <laughs> so how's your HR thing going? You work from home with your boys. Um, how do you cope? How do you manage all of these old processes? Is that um, you know, look, you right, you pay up, you prioritize as best you can. You know, um, children always come first. So sure. you know, um, sometimes it could be working very, very late at night, or you know, a, a certain deadline or project. Um, mm -hmm. But um, it's it's mind over matter, Chris. True, true, true. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Now, uh, Fiona, bring it back in. You guys were at the International Women Women's Day yesterday. Today. Yes. How was the turnout? It was an amazing event. So it, International Women's Day actually coincided with the first anniversary of yes. Cherry Blossom Cottage in Swords opening. Mm -hmm. So Cherry Blossom Cottage is an emergency accommodation did by the DRHE, Dublin yeah. Region Homeless Executive mm -hmm. and Tusla, mm -hmm. and has incredible support of the local community within Swords. And, and that emergency accommodation works intensively for housing for women who are homeless who are pregnant mm. and also prepares women for birth so prepares them for giving birth baby skills wow. prepares them to be a parent and also lynn very much focuses <laughs> on moving the woman out of emergency accommodation into a home of their own so that homelessness is only a little moment of time, time. in their life wow so wow. yesterday's event was yes. to really celebrate yes. their yes. achievements i was going to want to point yeah. to it now i love this mm. I, I know we're talking about it before we set it up and i love this so this portrait looks amazing don't it yes yeah, come on show some open hands because it's wonderful Let's talk about this. How long does it take to portrait all of this? Oh my goodness, I'd love to say that I took that photograph, but the amazing Judy B photography studio okay. in Swords on Main Street came along with us on this journey. I knocked on a door a couple of weeks ago and yes. explained a project that we wanted to celebrate the achievements of the women who come in contact with our service, who can often be at a very low ebb. Mm. and have all sorts of question marks over achieving. It's beautiful from the scarf down to everything. Yeah. It's just so you know, clean work done. And also we have a couple of their video. I love this one. Wow, no, come on, that's show a, some love everybody. That's our latest wow. 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 So this woman, and you, you probably know just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, basically, um, this baby, believe it or not, is only a week old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she made contact with our organization yes. about um, four weeks before she was due. Okay. Because um, she, um, her place of employment was um, offering her accommodation at the time linked to her job. Okay. And when she obviously entered the last trimester of her um, pregnancy and mm -hmm. was no longer able to keep a hectic schedule, they took that accommodation away from her. Wow. So we were able to um, offer her accommodation our service. Mm. And um, and really, you know, we this these series of photographs really were trying to challenge the perception. Yeah, that's of, that's, a, that's that's a good point. Sorry, I'm going to show that quickly. Because each photo you guys does have, uh, they all portray something that really um, either interferes our lives or it gives it meaning. And, and, and I'm so happy that we're really talking about it and showcasing them. Uh, let's quickly talk about this one. How would you des describe these wonderful uh, photos here? I love your portrait. Come on, each of them, show some love, please. <laughs> Come on, wow. How would you portray this? So this, I suppose, obviously all the photographs are anonymized, and that's okay. purposely so. Yeah. And it, within the Swords community, people know where we are, but it, acknowledge and respect our privacy and the oh, yes. privacy of the women with whom of we course. work. Yes. This woman will be moving into a home of her own, we're hoping within two, two weeks, weeks. Okay. and has been on an incredible journey. She was sleeping in emergency mixed gender wow. accommodation wow. until she came to us and, and since coming to us has really reflected on her own health, her baby's health, really has connected with her baby mm. and now will be moving on to a home of her own in the coming weeks. Oh, wonderful. Come on, come on. That was a good thing. That's good to hear. All right, guys, we're still going to have you guys on the show. We're just going to a quick break. When we come back, we're going to wrap things up and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, viewers, so much to come in. We're going to go We're gonna go on a break. When we come back, we're going to have Barbara, Fiona, and also Lynn on the show. Right back after this. Thank you. talking about the great work you guys are doing but guys let's talk about the award the Irish Women Award guys yeah. congratulations one more time Thank again you. to win an award it is not easy the reason for give award is because of the hard work you guys are doing mm -hmm. and people can see the uh, or benefit out of it and that's why you won the award so how was the process you know going for this award come up so, okay. Very good. Somebody nominated us for this award, we wow. believe because of our um, vicinity within the local swords community that, mm -hmm. that we were actually nominated from someone that we don't know. Wow. Um, and so we were contacted then by Oceanic Events to say that we had been nominated for the award. Wow. We were a little taken aback given that we were <laughs> such a new service. Yes. And as a result, we went to the women with whom we work and asked them why we should win the award. Wow. And, and it was from their incredible feedback about the service mm -hmm. and about um, the support that really that they received from each other. Mm. We were able to incorporate into the um, submission. submission. Just, just very quick there, yeah. I just like what you just mentioned there. You went back to ask why did we, you know, uh, receive the award. That's a good, not everybody would do that. In, in France, the whole approach that we would take is very much client-led. Okay. We would take the approach that our job and the women for whom we work mm -hmm. put a roof over our heads. Yes. And we don't take that Correct. lightly in any way. Very good. So as a result, we would say that they are the experts by experience. Of course. They know what, what we do and whether or not it's That's good. a good thing. That, that yeah. shows more that people are looking out, you know, they're watching what you guys are doing. Yeah. And we always get most of that on our shows as well, mm. when we give reference about what we do, because even though they don't say, but each time they give their own review. Let me drag Barbara in there a little bit there. Barbara, so what's happening? You'll be doing some events coming up in the next couple of weeks. Can you talk us through? Yes, the next big race meeting will be Easter, Easter Ferry House um, race course. Um, and I never ever miss Ladies' Day. So I know you never miss. You always smile and everything. <laughs> yes. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it is the 21st to the 23rd of April. Okay. And um, it's a big part of my life. And you know when I was brought up as a young child. Very um, good. Yeah. 
and your boys are going to be there with you. Absolutely, so. by my side. We always, always <laughs> want to bring them in, guys. So uh, before we wrap things up, uh, 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 Fiona, we have one of the photos on the front there. Tell us about that beautiful one we have there. So, oh, yes, don't worry, okay. you're fine. Yes. <laughs> um, so Junior was born a week ago. Yes. And new arrival, I suppose, in some ways, well, is an absolute celebration mm. that he is here. Mm -hmm. I know before the show we were talking and just saying the reality is, is that today that baby is homeless, oh, no. and yet you look at him and he is absolute perfection and brings joy. And his mother is so so proud. Wow, that he is here. Come on, show some love, everybody! Wow, amazing, amazing. And also, I still have two more. I want to kind yeah. of show everything before I allow you guys to leave the show today. First, let's talk about this one very yeah. quick. We have some beautiful lovely shit. Give us more insight. This is um, a representation of a client we work with um, who is in a more complex situation. Okay. Um, those shoes represent her seven children who are in, in care. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So we work very closely with her to um, to basically empower her to be the best mother that she, she can, can be, be towards wow. to the to the seven children. Wow. And um, and yeah. And, and, and I it's, suppose it's important for us to represent that part of our work mm, also. I think one. I don't know if if it's 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 not like having home where kids can actually grow, especially mm -hmm. things like this. And when kids kind of grow in an uh, environment where it's not home, when they wake up in, in the morning, they share bed with strangers, mm -hmm. they, they don't eat their normal meals, or they don't do the normal things kids can really do. It's heartbroken, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I just hope this can be... And I suppose just to interject that, we are delighted to say that no woman has been, uh, except in one case, for okay. a particular reason, yes. all women have moved through our services within four months, wow. which means that all of the babies who have been born, we're up to 12 babies mm -hmm. yeah. over the past year, are all in a home of their own, their long-term home and still being supported. Wow, this is a real family show. Come on, show us a lot, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so let's talk about this one last piece before we run away. Lynch, over to you. Well, Shoot. well, she first, um, I first met her when she was residing in a hostel, okay. mixed gender hostel. Yes. Um, through all of our work together, um, she had a very different, uh, difficult pregnancy because of number of things, but in the end, we worked very closely with the housing organization, and she is now in her forever home with her lovely two-year-old. Wow, daughter. beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> returning, returning to college, returning to wow. work. Yeah. Beautiful, wonderful, awesome. guys. Look, thank you all so much. Come on, show us a love to Barbara. <laughs> you know, and I just want to win Guys, thank you so much for coming thank in. You. you guys are doing a fantastic job. Keep doing what you all do. Uh, Barbara, we keep keeping in touch, enjoying your horse race, do what you do, bring your boys out, let them enjoy the best they can with mommy. And Fiona, to your family and to, to, to yourself, Lynch, thank you all so much for coming on the show. Wish you guys best of luck. Is there a website or Facebook, something people can find you guys on? Yes, anew.ie okay. is our website. Okay. And Facebook, Instagram, Everything. Link, LinkedIn. Oh. <laughs> all in there. Yeah. Anew Swords is the... the service in Cherry Blossom Cottage. Okay, and beautiful. Resorts. And Barbara? I would just like to say to the ladies, they put on a wonderful and a spectacular event mm. yesterday at Swords Castle. Um, and I am a local um, of Swords, so ladies, thank you for the invitation. Come on, wow. <laughs> amazing, amazing. We're going to wrap this up for you guys. Thank you so much, Richard. Best of luck. Just stay with us. Coming up on the show, my very good friend, she's an author and writer. Wonderful, 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 beautiful lady. She's always here whenever we need her. Donna Kennedy is going to be joining us on the show after this. We'll be right back. Show some love. It's Donna Kennedy, everybody! Woo! I love this. Hello, Donna. How are you? Wonderful. I brought my own audience. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> The last time we saw you last was 2017, isn't it? I can't believe it's that long. I yeah. thought it was last year, but I didn't think it, it was that like long. It was last year, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's it was the... yesterday I was kind of, okay, 
when was she on the show? I said, okay, let me go on YouTube. Then I went on YouTube. I'm like, oh my God, 2017. It looks like last We year. need to make it an annual. That's what we need to do. <laughs> we'll try to keep it that way, you know. Congratulations, girl. Uh, wonderful book is out. Come on, show us a love, everybody. Amazing, amazing. Um, I, I'm every, every time, I'm always happy to talk to you on Facebook, online, you know. And uh, I, I really uh, want to say thank you so much. Each time, even you're on the car, you always have something to say. You're always empowering women, and uh, it's amazing. Thank you so much for coming on the show. So tell us about this one wonderful book that is out. What's up with this? Well, the book arose out of an event that I run called the Women's Empowerment Summit, and people started to call it We Summit. Yes. Um, so we, obviously, is Women's Empowerment. And my belief is that we should always help and support each other, and we should all be looking out for each other, not dragging each other down. True. So the slogan of the event is We Summit Together. Mm -hmm. So all of our goals, no matter what they are, that we can help each other to reach those goals. So um, out of the events, I decided that I was going to get experts to come and to teach other people how to achieve Very their good. goals and be the best version of themselves. Yeah. And everybody has a goal, everybody has a story. True. So I decided to put a, a book together. All the profits are going to the Christina Noble Foundation. And I wanted people's story that they could empower other people. So each of the chapters have themes that are relevant to empowerment. So mm -hmm. it applies to everyone, women and men. Mm -hmm. And it's really helping people see that Circumstance doesn't have to define you. Your story True. is not your identity. It's True. just your story. And then you need to focus on the goals that you want. So it's um, it's out there. It's doing very well. It's become bestseller oh, one. That's so, true. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's the beauty about you. I mean, you never stop, you know, coming from your past history, how you kind of, you know, change and take a different step and, and empower yourself and do a lot of great stuff. The last time we have you here, we have yourself and you hear me. You just mm. nailed the show that day <laughs> with your, you know, both of your comment, and you both did do some work together as well. We did, yeah. Um, I think it's very important that if people have information, it's our moral obligation to share that information very true. and help people. Very true. And it really is about being the best versions of ourselves. So mm -hmm. it's looking at all the, our strengths, all our resources, combining them. Mm. And, hopefully, and, and my aim and desire for anyone who attends my events is that they take action on the information that they learn. So the next time they come back to an event, they've improved in some way or another. Um, and I just love seeing people do well. And as you know, my life at one point wasn't nice. Um, and I was very challenged. And I don't want anyone else to feel what I felt. So I get nothing greater satisfaction than to see somebody go from being, you know, that caterpillar to the butterfly. Wow. The, someone who feels like they're in a cage to mm. being out there flying. Mm. And that's what I'm hoping. And I'm, it seems to be working so far. The it's events working. and the book. And, um, so I have another event on April 13th. I guess I was going to ask yeah. you that straight away. <laughs> like, what have you got on your table coming in? So talk us about that. Well, it's uh, on in Dublin in the Hilton Airport Hotel. Um, it's on the 13th of April, a Saturday, and it's an all-day event. Mm -hmm. um, there are seven speakers at it, and each of the speakers share information on their life experience, but in specific themes, in specific areas. So wow. everyone's goal is different, True. but the process is always the same. So True. you always need focus. You need maintaining momentum. You need to be able to deal with a no. Um, to be able to persevere, determination, all mm. this kind of thing. Mm. So the speakers we have, one of them had cancer, she overcame cancer, she went on to create, um, she does like the, it's called Sea of Change Choir, they're actually in Britain's Got Talent at the moment, or wow. Ireland's Got Talent. <laughs> um, so they got bo golden buzzer through, yes. um, and she went on to do amazing things. Uh, Maura Duran is a TV presenter, again, she um, had a child of 44, she became a, 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 an, an older mother, if you like, mm. um, She's got a beautiful confidence, but it's not a cocky confidence, it's lovely. Mm. Um, and to teach people how to bring that out in themselves. And there's loads of different areas that each speaker will be uh, touching, touching on. on. Um, but there's something for everybody because it's a multi-speaker event. Yeah, so people, please go out there and the date is going to be in April, is that correct? Yes, yes. and if anyone wants to come, it's wesummit.ie. So we we'll summit yeah, yeah, We're exactly. going to put that on our, our front screen as well, so you can see that as well. Please go out there, support this wonderful event. Trust me, uh, if you get to know her way, if this is your first time, well, I'm telling you, Donna will help you through the whole way because she got so much in stuff for everybody. Come on, show us a love for Donna, everybody. Thank you. And if you want to get this book before we go, where can we get it? It's on Amazon because Amazon. all the profits are going to charity. We wanted to raise oh, as much as possible. Wonderful. Uh, what charity this will go to? The Christina Noble Foundation. Oh, wow. Children. Come on, show us a love, everybody. Uh,
amazing. Amazing. Donna, I want to say thank you so much for stopping by. This is what we love to see all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, from time to time. Don't worry, this year we want to follow your footsteps straight away. Anything we see, we feel like, hey, Donna, come on. Okay, come let's come do something new, so <laughs> <laughs> don't my game. No, we don't keep it too long anymore. You know, but thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Come on, search a lot. Wonderful, everybody. Thank you. So much for coming on, on the show. This is what we're gonna wrap. This I want to say thank you to all my guests today, from Barbara to Fiona, and also to Lynch and also to Donner. I'm a wonderful producer. Come on, make some noise! Woo! All right, thanks to my production crew, my makeup artist Caroline. Thank you all so much. I look beautiful today. Am I not? All right, this is how we do it. Okay, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. Don't forget, JiraQuestu, www.jiraQuestu.com. So we'll come your way next week. Take care and God bless. Be good. See you now. Thank you. Thank you.